Jesus did not rise spirit. No, spiritual. Because the book plainly says they were afraid because they thought, thought they, had seen they a saw a spirit. They thought they seen a spirit. Preachers have said for years he rose spirit. No, he did not. No. Spirit and spiritual are different. But they were terrified and a frightened. Listen. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 24 and verse 37. Come on. But they were terrified and a fright. Why? And supposed that they had seen a spirit. So he convinced them and said what? And he said unto them, why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your heart? What is it? Behold my hands. Look, oh, wait a minute. See, so you can't pierce spirit. That's right. My hands. And my feet. And my feet. That it is I myself. And the question is, what kind of body was it? That's right. Handle me and see. That what? For a spirit, a spirit hath not flesh and bones. As what? As ye see me has. Spiritual is a body that function equal to spirit. That's right. Why? Because the body took on the glory of the spirit. That's, That's why the spirit glorified it with its own, own self. self. What is it about self it received? The full glory or the full function of self. He can appear and disappear. Spiritual is greater than natural. That's right. Because here you have a body living off spirit. Right. And still can perform like natural. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. You had a body that lived off spirit. Yeah. And still can function like natural. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish. You don't listen. You don't cook for spirit. No, you don't. Spirit ain't on no diet. That's right. The flesh and blood mm. that rose is glorified. glorified. And by it being glorified, right. it eliminated being a relative right. to the human race. That's right. Mary is not the mother of a body, a body. that changed no. from natural to spiritual. That's right. Because not only was the inside affected, the outside was affected. That's right. And Mary did not birth spiritual. Right. Mary birthed natural. Paul Plenty said, that's not the body that shall that be. That shall be. That's right. So when we say no ahead, son right of on. God went to the grave, we're talking about the natural life that was blood. Right. But the body that was placed in the grave still had the title son. son. Still had the shape son. That's right. Still had the form son. That's still right. had the identity son. son. That's right. That's why he told me, mm -hmm. tell my disciples right. that I have ascended, but I have not ascended. Not ascended. Right. Tell them, tell them I have ascended, have ascended. to my father, mm -hmm. but uh, I have not ascended. That's right. Jesus said not to her, touch me not. In Tell them I ascend to my, my father. For I am not yet in give, give, Saint, give in Saint John chapter 20. And we're listen at, at this. And we're at verse 17. What is it? Jesus saith unto her, what? touch me not. Don't touch me. For I am not yet ascended to my father. I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brothers. But you tell my brothers. And say unto them. What? I ascend unto my father. All right, wait a minute, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Are you confused? Amen. Huh? Sound confusing, don't it? Yeah. Listen. Jesus saith unto her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Here's, he says, I didn't ascend to my father. But go to my brethren but you and go say tell my brothers, unto them, I ascend unto my father. You tell them something else. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Go ahead. What you mean, when you go to my brothers and tell them I ascend, mm -hmm. you tell them I'm back from the grave. The reason why I did not yet ascend to my father, I did not yet go up into the clouds and ascend above all heavens because I still got some work to do in a glorified state. You see, a glorified state represents a higher level of knowledge. You know why? Because while he was here, they didn't understand. But after he rose, then open he, they understand. Huh? Glory to the Father. Go ahead. Are you getting me? Go ahead. After he rose, then. And, and he said unto them. Look, glory, glory, glory. In Do you book, hear this? In, in the book of Luke 24 and verse 44. Come on, son. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you. 
While I was yet that with all you. things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me, then what? Then open he their understanding. Then open he what? Then open he their understanding. What was the reason? That they might understand the scriptures. The resurrected body represent a higher level of knowledge. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God, don't you hear? Before he died, who do men say that I am? Some say thou art Elias or one of the other prophets. Who do you say that I am? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He said, flesh and blood have, have not revealed, revealed it to you, which means the Son of God didn't give you that. That's right. The Son of God didn't give you that. That's but right. who gave it to you, Peter? My Father My or father. the Spirit, which is in heaven. That's right. Hmm? The, listen, the, fle the Son of God on his own wasn't even a giver of revelation. Amen. Holy Ghost gave the revelation. He plainly told Peter, Flesh and blood didn't reveal it. That's right. Jesus was flesh and blood. But he told Peter, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Jesus, who are you going to credit? My Father. My Father. Which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. Everything go back to the Spirit. That's right. He's teaching us. They don't need to credit your flesh. Go you ahead. need the Spirit. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. He's teaching. That's why he manifests himself in the flesh and kept referring to the Spirit. The Spirit this, the Spirit that, the Spirit the other. Why are you doing that, Jesus? I want to leave man an example that they should follow my steps. That's Just right. like I cater to the Spirit and tell them without the Spirit you can't do nothing. That's you got to do the same thing. Same thing. That's what my church, that's why I manifest myself in the flesh so my flesh represents a body. Go ahead. And that body that will come after me is the body of the Christ. Which is the church. That's right. And now I want the church. Go after the spirit. Cater to the spirit. Go ahead. Lean to the spirit. That's right. When you look at the flesh, it is written you killed all the, all the day, day long. long. That's right. Don't you hear the apostle Paul told us Go ahead. we are crucified with him. That's right. Wait a minute. How are you crucified with him? Ain't no cross around here. Ain't no cross around here. So please tell me how are you now crucified with him? Huh? His hands was nailed, feet nailed, pierced him in his side, and put the crown of thorns in your head. If you put thorns on anyone's skin, they're going to puncture. That's right. You're going to have loss of blood. So for you to be crucified with him, these thorns got to be placed on your head. You know why? The colonel mind needs to be released. That's right. Huh? That's right. Take something strong like this. To release it. Thank God your nails, your hands got to be nailed to eliminate the freedom of sin. Your feet got to be nailed because your feet is quick to run into mischief. That's right. Eh? That's right. When they pierced them in the side, out came blood and water and spirit came out. Those are the elements of the new birth. That's right. Spirit is the Holy Ghost. The blood and water is the baptism. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's why the word was used. They agree. They agree. They, what you mean? they work together in one. Huh? That's right. And both of them is called baptism. Baptism. Holy Ghost is called baptism. That's right. Water is called baptism. Pastor right. Dennis, I thought it was one. It's one water baptism, but yet they are baptisms. That's right. Give me the book of Hebrews. In the book of Hebrews. Give me the book of Hebrews, son. In the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter God, six. God, I want to flood your gut. Amen. Huh? He Give chapter and verse. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1. What is it? Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ. Let us go on unto perfection. Let us go on to be completed. Not laying again the foundation of repentance Not from dead works. Not laying again the foundation of dead works. And a faith toward God. But what? Of the doctrine of baptisms. Baptisms. The doctrine of what? Of the doctrine of baptism. Give me the book of Corinthians. Amen. Let's see what kind of Holy Ghost that we got to have. That's right. <laughs> and then we'll get Acts 2.38. Amen. Eh? Amen. Glory to God. The Apostle Paul said you're baptized by one spirit. For by one spirit. Do you hear this? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 13. Remember Paul said the doctrine of baptisms, right. which let me know you got to preach baptism. That's right. Why, why Paul? Doctrine. It's a doctrine. doctrine. Eh? It's a doctrine. <laughs> See, when Go you ahead, say brother. baptism right away, doctrine, doctrine. that means you got to do it. That's right. It's a commandment. That's right. You got to have it. It's an order. Doctrine. No guess, no opinion. Doctrine. doctrine. When you say baptism, doctrine. Go ahead, brother. Doctrine. You Go got ahead. to be done. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God. What did he say? First Corinthians 12 and verse 13. Come on, son. For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? Are we all baptized? Into one body. Now, 
When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're baptized with the Spirit. That's right. That's right. What do you mean you're baptized in the Spirit? Yo, that's why it says you're filled. Mm -hmm. right. You're right. filled. That's right. And God, the Holy Ghost, come fill you up. That's, That's right. why Holy Ghost is called living water. Living water. That's why they use the term baptism, mm -hmm. because it's called living water. That's right. Huh? That's right. And your whole body got to be totally submerged. Right. What you mean, taken over, taken over by the Spirit of the living God. That's right. He shall baptize you. Do you hear that? In, in the book of St. Matthew, look, chapter 3. Look at what John the Baptist testified. Matthew, chapter 3, and at verse 11. What? He shall baptize you. John said, one coming after me. Mm -hmm. That's mightier than I. That's mightier than I. And he shall baptize you. Shall baptize you. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And with fire. Mm. Huh? Go ahead. Your natural body go in water. Mm -hmm. But when you fill up the Holy Ghost, you go in fire. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Your natural body go in water. I indeed baptize you But when you, you fill up the water. Holy Ghost, you go in fire. That's right. Listen at the word of God. Still in Matthew 3 and verse 11. Listen at prophet John. I indeed. I indeed. Baptize you with baptize water. Baptize you with water. Unto repentance. Unto repentance. But he that cometh but after he me. he that come after me. Is mightier than I. He's stronger than I am. Whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. What's going to happen? He shall baptize he you. He shall baptize with you. With the Holy Ghost. With the Holy Ghost. And with fire. And with fire. That's right. Why, why, why do I need fire? Because I need something, thank God, that got more power than my own sin. That's right. Gotta burn up my mind. That's right. Gotta burn up my heart. Go ahead. Gotta burn up that wicked that's in there. Hallelujah. That's right. Gotta burn up my mouth. That's right. Gotta burn up my hands. Amen. They got the hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got to have fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to have fire. That's right. You got to be a whole burnt whole sacrifice. Go ahead, brother. Huh? Baptize you with fire. Go ahead, man. Hmm? Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. He listen, shall listen. baptize you. When you have the Holy Ghost, you got fire. Fire. Your soul is on fire. That's right. While your body is dripping with water. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Repent. Go ahead. Everybody in here that never was baptized, you got to repent. That's right. If you've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not baptized. Not baptized. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. That's right. If you join the church, you're not saved. Go ahead. If you pray the sinner's prayer, you're not saved. Go ahead. You gotta get the spirit. That's right. You gotta get the water. Got to get the you water gotta get the blood. That's right. You got to have it. That's the doctrine That's right. of baptism. Go, Go ahead. Yeah. That's the doctrine of baptism. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to have it. Hallelujah. The doctrine Hallelujah. of baptism. If you bow your head and raise your hand, you're nothing but a sinner. That's all. If you've been sprinkled by the Catholic Church, you're nothing but a sinner. That's right. If you held the preacher's hand and prayed a sinner's prayer, you're nothing but a sinner. That's right. Doctrine requires Go ahead. baptism. That, that's right. It requires Go ahead. it. It demands it. Demands it. The knowledge of the commandments. Listen. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Listen. chapter 19 and verse 19. What is it? The knowledge of the commandments. The knowledge of the commandment. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Is the doctrine. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Once I come into the knowledge Hallelujah. of the new birth, Go ahead. I got to start That's right. getting away from here, sir, That's right. and step into doctrine. That's right. Huh? That's right. I got to step into doctrine. That's right. And, 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 and it is written, I give you a good doctrine. good doctrine. And it's the doctrine of God. That's right. What do you mean the doctrine of God? First Timothy. Huh? Amen. Lord, take God, give me first Timothy, son. Amen. Let's get the doctrine of God. That's right. And it was the doctrine of God that Jesus taught the apostles. First Timothy chapter. And they stood fast in that. That's right. Listen at this. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 1. What is it? That the name of God. That the name of God. And his doctrine. And his doctrine be not blasphemed. Go ahead, brother. Everybody that are watching and listening and that are here. Go ahead. I'm bringing you the doctrine of God. That's right. Not the doctrine of Geno Jennings. That's right. Not the doctrine of first church. That's right. But the doctrine of the truth of God. I will yet pour out doctrine. Go ahead. The Hallelujah. doctrine of the truth of God is a necessity. I will yet pour out doctrine. Well, Jennings, you just said it's not you. The truth of God, ain't that's your name? 
That's what Jesus came for. That's right. I got it from him. That's right. He came for that and left it here. And now God bless us to just handle it by his mercy. Now I say. But he said he came for it. That's right. That was his reason for coming. That's right. Give chapter and verse. In the book of Romans chapter 15 and verse 8. That's what? Now I say. I say. That Jesus that Christ. Jesus Christ. Was a minister, was a of, the minister, minister of the circumcision. For the truth of God. That's what we are here for. That's right. For the truth of God. That's right. Viewers. Amen. And you that are here. Hallelujah. You need to be circumcised. Your heart Hallelujah. need to be cut. Hallelujah. And the stones that is over it need to be broken. Hallelujah. Your Hallelujah. heart is hard. Your hard head. Amen. You're rebellious. Hallelujah. That's why you're Hallelujah. smoking and gambling Hallelujah. and drinking Hallelujah. and lying and living Hallelujah. together, not married Hallelujah. and partying Hallelujah. and remarrying Hallelujah. and divorcing ahead, and want to be homosexual ahead, and men want to plait their hair and wear earrings Go ahead. and wear long fingernails Hallelujah. like women. Go ahead. Men and women want to wear pants Go ahead, and low riding jeans and mini skirts Amen. and prostitute the street. Amen. You know why? Amen. The doctrine of God is not in your life. That's right. You better repent now. Amen. Repent. Repent. You got to repent for all that sin. That's right. What you mean repent? You got to get tired of that sick life you're living. That's right. Get tired of it. Get tired of it. You're getting older. Amen. How long are you going to keep sucking your cigarettes? Go ahead, brother. And then when you've been pronounced you got cancer, now you want Jesus. That's right. If you're serving the devil while you're praying to Jesus. That's right. Why don't you call on your father the devil? That's right. Say, devil, Go ahead. help me. Go ahead. Devil, Get me out the hospital. That's right. Devil, you put me here. That's right. You the one got your gun. That's right. Robbing that bank. Ripping that old woman. Go ahead. And then when you get shot and get in the hospital, now you want to call some priest. Why don't you call your father the devil? Why? The Bible says the lust of your father you will do. That's right. Why you call on Jesus? Why call you? don't you want to Lord. obey him. That's you right. don't want to do what he said. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. why are you calling him? Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Why are you calling him? Why call you me Lord, Lord? And do not the things that I say. Jesus asked the same question I'm asking. And why? In, Give chapter and verse. In Luke chapter 6 and verse 46. And why call you me Lord, Lord? Why do you call me Lord? And do not the things which I say. Look at you. My Lord. Young man, you want to walk around with your pants hanging off your behind. Go ahead, go like ahead. a tramp. That's right. Why? Why? What you got to show in your underwear? Go ahead. Why would you degrade yourself? That's right. Why would you pierce your tongue? Go ahead. Pierce your ears. Yeah. Woman, why would you pierce your birth canal and pierce your tongue and your lip and eyebrows Preacher, and pierce your breast? Go ahead. Why would you tattoo your behind? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. But then when something get happened to you, Lord, Lord. That's right. That's right. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. You was out there all tough and hard with your hoodie on. Go ahead, get out the car. That's right. Get out the car. Come on. Get out the car. Get out the car. I jacked you up. Get out the car. Yeah. Then later on, pa 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 pa. You in the hospital? Jesus. 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 Jeez, jeez, jeez. That's right. Won't you call on your father the devil? The devil, that's right. What you calling God for, Mr. Bad Man? Amen. Go ahead, brother. You think you're a man? A real man don't show his drawers? Only a baby wear diapers, you fool. <laughs> that's right. Don't you know you're not going to stay young and foolish forever? Come off the streets of America. That's it. You see all these men here? These men came from the hood. Yeah. From the streets. Yeah. Some from prison. Yeah. Some was drug dealers. Yeah. Some owned their own drug lab. Yeah. Some was selling it. Yeah. Some was taking it. Yeah. Some got shot and shot others. Yeah. Some got stabbed and stabbed others. Served time in jail yeah. and then came out and got rearrested by God. My Lord. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Now I'm in a real prison. Real prison. That's right. That's right. It's a real prison now. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. It's rehabilitation time. Yes. You doing the same dumb thing you was doing at 15. Yeah. And now you here in your 20s and 30s. Still drinking your whiskey, hanging out with the boys, blasting the radio. Yes. So loud. With your little child in the back seat. That's right. And then a child grow up half deaf. That's right. Because they got a deaf, dumb father. That's right. Until you old men, you I call. knock up a bunch of girls and make babies, but your lazy, worthless bums Go ahead, won't brother. lift a finger to take care of none of them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brother. And you say you're a man? Go ahead. Use a bum. It's a bum. Am I right, brother? Yeah. What are they? Bum. What are they? Bum. Men that don't take care of their children, what are they? Bum. What are they? Bum. If they white, Bum. black, Bum. brown, Bum. yellow, Bum. Asian, Bum. Hispanic. Bum. Go ahead, brother. Make a play. Make a play, brother. Teach it, pastor. Teach it, brother. What about if he's a preacher? Deacon, Bum. Rabbi, Bum. Muslim, Bum. Mason, Bum. Luminati, Bum. Reverend, Bum. Apostle, Bum. Bishop. Bum. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to die one day. I don't care how tough you are. Woman, I don't care how fine you believe you are. You are going to die. correct time. Amen. Huh? Amen. What is it? My God, we did God bless the ticket right into 2013. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Happy New Year. spade a spade and let's talk in a language that all of us can understand straight from the hood right from the hip that's right <laughs> see I ain't T.D. Jakes no no tell him brother tell him I ain't him. gonna say a few words tell and him, then brother. walk around <laughs> <laughs> tell him brother show him up brother I ain't Benny Hinn. Show him up. I ain't coming around. <sighs> That's right. That's right. You a young man and a young woman. Why do you think now the prison industry has been privatized? Do you even know what that means? Privatizing the prison industry, meaning that investors, everyday investors or corporations can buy land, build a prison, and you know what you are to them? You are stock. Stock. That's right. They all depend. You are the goods. You ain't got no prison unless you got a criminal. And you young fools making them richer. Making them rich. That's right. They build a prison for 2,000 and 4,000 go in. Yeah. And you think you're tough. So what is it that make you rape somebody's grandmama? Go ahead, brother. 
What is it that makes you penetrate a three-month girl? My Lord. What is it that makes you sodomize the behind of your little brother? My Lord. Talk to me. How did we become so animalistic? Two weeks ago in Upper Derby, Philadelphia, three young boys at gunpoint kidnapped a 22-year-old girl, carjacked her with a two-year-old child there. She was outside waiting for her boyfriend. At gunpoint, they carjacked her. They drove around three hours and took turns raping her. My Lord. 